all right so you're welcome to my channel today everyone good evening how you doing and a very happy new year to each and every one of my subscribers and my viewers today i want to talk about something very important and that is called pseudo pregnancy what is pseudo pregnancy in rabbit pseudo pregnancy means force the word pseudo means force first pregnancy this is one of the traits that rabbits used to manifest female rabbits used to manifest quite often and uh, what happened is this basically when a rabbit is on it or a female rabbit is matured and she's ready to be crossed they oftentimes tends to um, um come on it you know and especially if it's a situation whereby there's a male rabbit beside the female's cage, you understand the tendency and the possibility of coming on it is very high. You understand? So the female rabbit can come on it. Or sometimes if you take the female rabbit to the male and the crossing was not successful, but maybe the male made an attempt to cross your female rabbit once or twelve or three times or so, you understand? There could be pseudo pregnancy. But it is more common. When there is when the female rabbit is being crossed for the first time, it is very common. Many people will say that I crossed my rabbit for the first time, but she did not deliver. It's a situation called pseudo pregnancy, false pregnancy, whereby the 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 female rabbit was crossed, but fertilization did not take place. There are many reasons that can lead to that. You understand? Number one, it is possible that it happened if the male rabbit you use. Is younger than the female rabbit. Apparently, I always advise people that you should ensure that you use a older male to cross your female rabbit. You understand? Use a older male. For instance, if you are crossing a rabbit that is six months old, you probably should use a male that is seven months or eight months old. You understand? It is very, very good that you should do that so that it will because the spermatozoa is stronger and it's of higher quality because of the age of the. Uh, female, uh, the male rabbit, you understand? So, but it's a very common thing for pseudo pregnancy to occur in a rabbit. And when it happens, the rabbit will be giving you every sign that she's pregnant. Every symptom of pregnancy will be manifesting in a rabbit that is exhibiting pseudo pregnancy, you understand? But the only thing is that it will not last for 30 days. Pseudo pregnancy lasts for 17 to 18 days. 17 to 18 days. In fact, by 17th day, the rabbit will start pulling their fork. And you will be thinking that, yes, this rabbit is pregnant, but it's not yet time for this rabbit to deliver. And it is pulling it for as if it is about to deliver or as, if, or as if it is ready to deliver the baby. Are you getting me now? Now, when that happens, more often than not, the rabbit is not going to deliver anything. It's just forced pregnancy. The only good part of pseudo pregnancy is that after the 7 to 18 day that your rabbit exhibits that pseudo pregnancy traits, the rabbit is most fertile. It's most fertile. After the pseudo pregnancy has occurred, your rabbit is most fertile at that time. So if you cross your rabbit at that time, you can be double sure that your rabbit is going to conceive and is going to be pregnant. Are you getting it now? So it happens if a, if a, if a female is on it for a, a, a several time and it's beside a male and you don't uh, give her the opportunity to be crossed, the rabbit can form a false pregnancy. Or it happens sometimes also if your rabbit is getting crossed for the first time, maybe it's just five months old or six months old and you're crossing it for the first time, see the pregnancy is very possible. Now, how do we... Uh, how do we... How do we uh, should I say verify the pregnancy so as to know when it is false or when it is genuine? That is very simple. That is something we call palpation. Palpation is the act of using your hand to feel the rabbit filters inside the rabbit at anything from 12 to 15 days. The filters would have formed well. If your rabbit is pregnant genuinely by 10, 12 to 15 days, the babies should have formed in the tummy to the extent that you can use your hand to feel it. Are you getting me now? To the extent that you can use your hand to what? To feel it. Right? Yes. Yeah, so, you can do that to ensure that you confirm if the babies are truly formed. You understand? So, if by 12 to 15 days your rabbit is, is pregnant and you try to palpate it by using your hand to feel the fetus and, you know, it's, it's actually a very simple thing just that I don't have anyone within that age right now that I would have used I mean the pregnant ones are not up to uh, they're not up to 12 and 15 days I would have just shown you what it looked like but you literally just use your hand to feel the lower region of your rabbit uh, 
uh, stomach, you know, very close to the two legs behind. You use your hand to feel it. You will, you will feel those hard substance. Those hard substance are the rabbit babies. You understand? So at 12 to 15 days, if you palpate your pregnant rabbit and you cannot feel the babies there, then most likely your rabbit is exhibiting pseudo pregnancy. Don't forget what I said. I said that by the 17th to 18th day, your rabbit is most fertile after the pseudo pregnancy has been exhibited. Now, why the pseudo pregnancy is ongoing? If you um, if you if you take the female rabbit to the male, she will not allow the male to cross her. She will be acting as if she is pregnant, whereas she is not. So that's why I said the most valid way to know if your rabbit is truly pregnant is to palpate them from between 12 to 15 days so as to know if there is baby inside or if there is not. You understand? So by the time you palpate them, you'll be able to verify if they are truly pregnant or they are not so that you can save time and you can save some waiting. Also, sometimes by that 12 to 15 days, if it's a say the pregnancy situation, you can take the rabbit for crossing again and you can be sure that the rabbit is going to be crossed successfully. You understand? Now, I have seen people... Um, talk about using rubber band to cross female rabbit. Please, I want to really discourage that thing. I'm not, and I'm going to tell you the reason I'm discouraging it. Number one, these rabbits are not in the wild. They are being domesticated by you. Even in the wild, rabbits don't need rubber band to cross. If you are feeding your rabbits accurately and correctly, are you getting it? If you are feeding your rabbit accurately and correctly and you are taking care of them very well, they are well managed, rabbits are induced ovulator. You can induce the heat period of a female rabbit literally by taking it around the male or by deworming it with a vermectin injection or by putting it beside the male or something like that. It's, it's very easy for them to come on it. So you don't need to use any rubber band. It's just like an animal quality to me. It's really an, it's, it's actually an animal quality for real. You don't need to use any rubber band to cross your female rabbit. They should come on it on themselves. You take them to the male's cage and then if she's on it, she will allow for crossing. And even if she's not on it, it is very easy to bring your female rabbit on it. I hope you have learned one or two things today. So that is what pseudo pregnancy is all about and that's how to detect or avoid it. I told you that by 17 or 18 days, you notice that your rabbit starts, you know, shedding their foe. And somebody somebody will be thinking that, okay, maybe my rabbit wants to give birth early. No, there's no how your rabbit will give birth of their baby at 17 to 18 days. I've seen a situation where the rabbit gave birth on 28 day. I've seen 29 day. Instead of 30 days, I've seen 35 years. I thought I've seen 45 days where the rabbit took a longer time before she gave birth. And those of you were already having, you know, their eyes open and the, there were four on their body already. That is, their, their, their ear was already growing. That is possible. But it's not possible for your rabbit to give birth at 17 to 18 days. It's not just, it's not just possible. That's not going to happen. You understand? So if you if you notice that she's shedding her four by 17 to 18, they just carry her and take her to the male for crossing again because it's a pseudo pregnancy that has been manifested you understand so when you declare that you can quickly cross your rabbit again and you know save time but the best thing to do is by 12 to 15 day palpate the rabbit use your hand to feel the filters on the inside to know if the rabbit is still pregnant or not so that you don't waste time waiting and just waiting for a longer time that you know instead of expecting a result you're just waiting and waiting for a longer time so to save the time of waiting you can pop with the rabbit to discover if their baby is there so i think that brings us to the end of today's lecture thank you for watching the video i want to say a very special thank you to mrs sarah she contacted me from Benin city she watched one of my videos and she actually told me that she loved the video so much she even told me that she has watched several videos on youtube on rabbit family and told me that i tend to teach the best or I tend to, you know, e elaborate and explain things in a better way that make them to understand that this person really knows about this thing. I want to appreciate that feedback. You know, most of the time recording videos like this is not very easy because you are. I'm recording myself with my camera. I am not seeing you guys. But when you guys watch the video and give me the feedback, it makes me very happy. So I really appreciate that. She actually told me that she watched the video and sent the links to her husband. And the husband told her that, yes, this is the person we want to deal with. And also to... A number of you, Mr. Abidemi, some of you have bought my ebook. you know. A number of you, Mr. Sylvester, also from Joss. Thank you, thank you for everybody that's reached out to me. I really appreciate each and every one of you. 
uh, that should be Mr. Um, Awo from uh, Ibado. Thank you. Thank you very much for always reaching out. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm wishing everybody a beautiful 2024. I pray that God will bless us. And this year will be a productive one. This year will be a glorious one. This year will be a successful year. This year will be a better year for all of us and for us as a whole, as farmers and uh, Nigerian and other people that watch from all, all, all over the world. Thank you for always watching my video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do well to uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, like this video. We are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. We are currently less than 500. I want to urge you guys and please do subscribe to the channel. We want to get to 1,000 subscribers this month and I'm sure that you guys can help us to achieve that. Thank you for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye for now.